Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you're watching Technical Spark. Friends, after my last video, that is a discovery, I got a couple of emails as well as comments that how we can you know, identify classified files. So that is what I'm going to cover. So guys, uh, it could be any document like your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, okay. And if those documents are tagged, then as you know, we cannot see those tags directly by opening the documents in easiest way, right? So for that, we have to follow little bit of procedure. So in this video, I am going to cover two methods through which you will be able to identify your classified files. One is using the EPO and second using your direct file. So how you can check that? So let me tell you after this small intro video. Guys, the, whichever the file you choose, which you suspect that is, you know, hashtag, just simply open that particular file. In my scenario, I'm opening test file, okay? Because this is, we already saw in previous video, yeah, that this particular file already has a tag. So as I open, I couldn't see any tag information on the file, right? So to check the tags, so you will simply need to go to the file and then info. Under info, let me just maximize this. Under info, you will see the properties tab available, right? So simply click on this particular properties tab and select advanced properties. Once you advanced properties are open, go to the custom and here you will find the tag information, right? This is, you know, automatically classified. If this is a manual, then it would have shown same information and the classification is done using our DLP. So it also shows the DLP version also. In our case, my DLP version, agent version is a1.10.0.292 and this is the tag. It start with D4 and end with 91. What exactly this tag means that a user cannot find as well as we also cannot find. Only DLP administrator can check this. So just remember this, uh, you know, particular code value which is D4 at the start and 91 at the end. Now let me show you on the EPO server how you can check this particular tag. For that, let me close this and we'll copy this file to our EPO server. So guys, I have copied that same file here on my EPO server. So let's launch our EPO console. So that I let me show you how you can check this. Log in with your credentials. Once you logged in, let me very well go to the classification and show you where exactly that D4 and 91 tag is tagged. So here we go. So let me check out. Okay, this is not the one which we are looking for. Here you go, D4 and 91, right? Starting with D4 and ending with 91. So this particular tag we have created under discovery rule. I mean, while testing the discovery rule. So that is what that particular file has the tag. So this is how you can check, you know, or cross verify. Now let me tell you how if you don't know where exactly, you know, that particular tag is present, then there is a one more way. You can directly go to the classification tester and here we'll have to browse that particular file. You can directly browse the file which you suspect which has a tag and then you can select the things which you suspect has the tag. So I know by which uh, things uh, this tag is applied, I mean which uh, through the which classification. So I've selected those. Now let me click on start test. If in case you don't know then you can select all, right? So there's multiple options available and see here is the information. It also says what exactly do I know uh, that particular document has inside this due to which tag is applied and it has the count to one. Okay, so this is one of the interesting tool. So I you know, suggest to you guys to all utilize. So hopefully now guys you have understood how to check the tags using a directly document information section as well as your EPO console. So that's it for this video. This is Sohan signing out.